pretty good luck so far. You can see. Yeah, I has got yeah. there. But, and we might have another sighting of um, wildlife in the area. Coral sitting over in turn three and four. I would not doubt if they threw a caution. If it, 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 it's kind of running around out there. They tried to catch it before the race. Just uh, just keep that in mind. What is it? It's a squirrel. It's not wearing a helmet. Not one of them squirrels. A real squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, that piece of concrete kind of knocks it up out of the hole, uh, out of the track, and then here comes Jamie. And at first, first look, it looked like fluid. It looked like a can of beverage of some kind. But he, uh, Jamie, got a lot of debris flying around from that piece of concrete. Keep, keep an eye on Rodney right there. This is Rodney seeing the window and ducking and saying, wow, that was close. Rodney Wise, the flag man, and he will, he's watching to see where that landed to make sure if it stayed on the racetrack, then he, obviously he was gonna put the red flag out. There's another view, but wow, is that close. This is after the checkers. That was Junior who hit Kyle Larson and set that off, it looks like. Oh, that was a hard lick right there for Ryan Reed. This is the notebook that was laying, I think, on the trunk of the 27 car of Paul Menard. Oh, yeah, there it is. And that's Slugger Labby's note scattered, well, all the way around the racetrack. Is that, is that Slugger hiding from us right there? And... There it goes. There it goes. It was just uh, oh, wow. <laughs> sitting up there on the deck lid, just pretty as you please, till he came off the corner. Well, Matt Kenseth fought, uh, found some of those notes right there. Watch this. Yeah. Watch it stick to the grill here. So Bam. if the 27 car is watching our broadcast, if you'll go down to Matt Kenseth, you'll at least find two pages of the notes. <laughs> there is Slugger right there. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see him right here. He looks in the mirror and he looks out the side. He, Whoa, I got to get going here. And you see the fire come out the side after that. So he saw him come and he knew he had to speed up or get rammed into. We were going to get run over by a wrecked car because of their wet pit road and they're going to penalize us. Yeah, we're going to go another lap here. I, I, I feel for him. I really do. I understand we saw what happened and uh, it's a shame, but you know, the rules are the rules, and that's the that's the job of the officials to, to make the calls. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, what you're seeing right there is the end of the actual end of the housing breaking off because the hub's still attached. Yeah. You can see it attached to the wheel. Now, if you remember, you can see the rotor flying up the racetrack right there. Those tires are not a good thing if someone hits Yeah, and that thing's heavy because it has, like I said, it has the hub attached to it. I think it's a NASCAR Pinata. I think it's decal on the wall. I had electric wires coming out of the yellow. That would be somebody's battery pack from their car, and they hit it. One of the battery cells exploded, pieces everywhere. Index is the wheel. Now it goes to make the adjustment. They're only doing two tires. Couldn't quite get it out. That thing sticks down inside the the bed panel probably six or eight inches and so the angle is bad when as the truck's moving away from him it looked like he tried to put one more turn on it and when he tried to put that one turn brad left hermy and he was simply a passenger i think he could he was behind that car and he couldn't see and i think when he went to the inside he put the uh it, i think that it took the grass there's a lot of grass and mud on the nose of Jimmy Johnson, the 48 team. I just think even if the if the grass was dry, with these cars being on the ground so low, I don't think you can clip that grass like you used to. Wow, wow did that push back the Lexan windshield and everything. I think that uh, left front corner of that nose looks pretty heavily damaged. Well, look how bad it bent that windshield bracket if he's got problems with the windshield and the left side of the nose. Now let's look from uh, Eric Almirola. Let's see what happens here. He goes down. Yeah, he just... Man, look how high that car went into the air. And of course, you're running right at 200 miles an hour right there. Denny's back there. It's hard to tell if there was any contact from behind on Denny's part. So that's at the pit entrance. Then, what happened to Kennedy? He's 
Reed Sorensen. And he bounced off of and caught the Armco. Everybody is driving crazy today. Look how he's trying to get her back. Boys, I'm on fire. Driving the wheels off that thing. <laughs> Help me over Winfrey. I'm on fire. But look at the fire. Then it's like, hey, enough of this. We got to get out of here. I mean, we're putting on a show is one thing, but let's leave the driving to the professionals. Right away, you see the uh, fire unit, the rescue you group. You can't make this up. This is and, happening. And uh, they, they put out the... Abort. Uh, <laughs> we're on fire. <laughs> and... Uh, Trevor has one for the Wood Brothers. Let's we'll see what he can do when he gets up there full time next year. Here's one of the guys without a pole in 2014. We'll shift to next, and that will be Regan Smith just shutting down from his run. And it wasn't a great one. That's okay, though. He's, he's 12th so far. I believe that'll be fine to make the next round. Two to go. Two yellows out. Yellow light here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. They're not waving the yellow flag. Now they're waving it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. What's it for? <laughs> Dude, I don't see nothing. Well, the flagger didn't wave it. The radio didn't call it either. The radio race control didn't call it. Flagman didn't throw it. Just all of a sudden, y'all lights come on. The light was clearly on, but you never said anything to me. So I'm just wondering where the discrepancy is. You know, the reason none of us said anything is because NASCAR never said nothing. They just put the lights on. It's arranged. Like Blake Cook and, and he, maybe Joe Nemechek, I haven't seen if he came out or not. But these are guys that are trying oh. to make the race. Oh, we got trouble. I think it's I raining. It's raining oh, over there. It, it is, is raining on Cars the back straight all away. over the racetrack. Oh, what happened here? Mike Bliss, one of those that broke free. You see the 97 of Joe Nemechek and heavy damage. That's Benny Gordon, the 91 yep, car. Yeah, to Benny Gordon, a 91 machine. Just all of a Robert sudden it was Richardson Jr. You, look at the racetrack. Look we at all the cloud burst. It's, it's not even the whole backstretch. It's just halfway down the backstretch. Uh, and there's the 55 of Ross Chastain. Tough, tough break for these guys. Unbelievable. You can see Ricky had been into the wall on the outside, yes. and he's just helpless. No steering in that car. And that makes better sense because what I saw in the first replay, it's like he never slowed down. See the gas, the, the can receptacle hung up into the car. Kyle drives off and drags the gas man with him. Ryan Blaney will We'll get a time. And it looks like Ryan Blaney will be your pole sitter. Not going to make it. Nobody's going to make it. Just you. Yeah. That is the craziest thing I have ever seen. Yeah. That is awesome. You don't even need to run a lap. You don't even need to just coast. You're fine. Your speed is irrelevant. You're the only truck that took time. That's amazing. I, I, I just don't know what to say. We, well, there's a lot of smart people. Yeah, we'll take a pole. On pit road. Oh, yeah. In the spotter stand. Yeah, slow down here. You be coast. Between you everybody. Coast, man. Joey coast your stuff. Ryan Blaney, Joey Meyer, and Chad Kendrick were the only guys to even get a time. And did you hear Joey Meyer? We got to go. We got to go. We're not yeah. going to make it. Yeah. Clap right there, buddy. Well, you were saying About it. You said they're not going to make it. Right there. I have a spectator climbing the fence. Security not doing their job. Guy climbing over the damn fence. I think that's the first time there's been a caution for somebody climbing up on the fence. All right, so let's show you the beginning of the coal wet spin. That's just a piece of brake duct. Don't yeah, mind that. But, but watch how long it is before the 33 comes in there running wide open. Now, here's what Tim, happened there. Cole and Danica got, got together. Got together. Got so he's there. in the wall. Now, watch this. He comes down. If, if he could have stayed up on the wall, he'd have been a whole lot better off. But he comes down the track. Tim Caution's been out for a it's while been now. out forever. Where's he going? Bam. Brian Silas then brings that 99 to a stop on the back stretch and had a little problem climbing out of that truck. Yeah, when something's on fire, you, you, you don't try to get out of there as quick as you can. Your first concern is just getting away from it. You don't know if it might continue or could get worse. And so he was just trying to get out to repair this right rear damage. And we'll show you how it happened. Uh, Danica Patrick is going to come out of her pit stall. Slew it sideways a bit. Whoops. I'm not. I can't explain that one. Yeah, and Clint Boyer just had got back on the lead lap by getting a free pass. Look at the damage on the left front of Danica Patrick. Right now, she's running in 18th position. Well, what is more? That, that's Matt Kenseth.
Well, Marcus is a great restarter. He's a road racer, so he knows, look, and then Casey's trying to drag Marcus off the side, oh. and Marcus punches him. He didn't want him grabbing him like that. And you could see Mears rubbing his eyes, so Marcus definitely landed that punch, and then the crews are getting involved there, and he's getting uh, beat around a bit. I had my doors blown off before. I, that's an old racing expression, but I don't think I've ever seen a hood blown off before. But uh, listen, those those jet dryers, if you've ever been on a, tar, a tarmac, around an airplane when it's taxiing out. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of force and pressure, and it caught that hood and obviously raised it up. And Eric Jones leading. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the lights going out. Hello. Love to hear the communication from the spotter stand on this. Contact from Biffle and Newman. Yes, Biffle came back on the track. Newman was right there. Right into him and hard into that guardrail and the tires. Sends him back out in the middle of the track here. Into McDowell. See the rear end housing loose from the car and then put over the fence. That last impact from McDowell was nice. Eight to go in the uh, boy the orange cone has have a had a tough full moon Saturday night doing a little doing a little dancing and prancing there. Does How about that? He almost say I believe he's gonna save it. Wow, that was Kyle Bush esque. I've never seen a cone get that kind of air and yet not fall over on its side. Orange cone strutting his stuff tonight. 